Good morning everybody. It's a nice hot and humid day in Tennessee and we're going to work on our generator today. It's a Cummins 5500 generator in the new motorhome. So we're going to do an oil and filter change and just kind of check it out make sure it's running all right. And so then we'll be ready to go on our next trip. So come along for the ride as down the road we go. Although we're only going over there and work on the RV. Okay, today we're going to do a, a oil change, oil and filter change, and check things out on our generator on the new motor home so we can make sure everything's going good and we get it on a good schedule. So this is a Cummins 5500 gasoline uh, generator, and what we're going to do, first we have to take that plate off, but the tools we're going to need, or supplies, of course you've got two quarts of oil, a wrench to take the oil filter off and a new oil filter and a place to drain the, the uh, oil, old oil out and we'll put that up underneath there and that way if there's any spillage it goes on the cardboard or in the pan there we don't get it all over our shop floor which is not good. So let's get at it. So the first thing we want to do is take this cover off the generator and we can get to some good information up in here and get started on the oil change. So all you got to do is pop it off from the top, pick it up, set it off the side, set it off the side there and now we're ready to go. Now we'll give you a close up on this but it tells you right here the oil, what the service information is, what you should do every day, the air filter, the oil filter, every 150 hours, 150 hours, replace it 450 hours as far as the uh, air filter goes and 150 hours as far as the oil filter and oil goes. And down here it'll tell you the part numbers, the Cummins part numbers for everything you need to do the job. Uh, we did not get the Cummins part number this time because nobody in town, this little town we're near, had that. So what we're going to do next time is order a bunch of filters offline and get the correct Cummins filter. But a Napa filter should do us good for right now because we'll, we're just going to put this oil in here until we can get some uh, a, a better filter and uh, better oil actually because we're just using the Napa oil again. No commercial, didn't pay us for it, we paid full price for everything. Uh, like I say it's a temporary, we're just going to put it in here just to change the oil and uh, get everything working real good and get everything on line and get the better stuff and put it in. So what we're going to, this is the oil fill here and right here is where it dumps out un below, down below down here. There's a tube down there, it'll go into the bucket, two quarts, not a big deal. Uh, everything's, everything looks pretty good really right now, so let's get at the job. Okay, what we're showing you here is kind of a, well my head's in a way, in the light, show you the close up of uh, the information that's on the, the service here, telling you when to change it and what to use as far as part numbers. And again, this is the fill right here, that's where we'll fill it. This knob right here, when we turn that, that'll start draining it out the bottom. And then from underneath, we'll have to change the oil filter. And that's what we'll need that oil filter wrench for. Okay. There's the oil drain, there's the oil filter, so we'll be changing those. And uh, the first thing is we just gotta go ahead and change the oil. So we'll start dumping that here real quick. Okay, we gotta get this lined up real good. I don't know about you all, but I like to wear gloves because I don't like getting dirty hands. I spent years as a jet mech in the service and had enough grease. So we try to keep it a little bit clean. Now to make this job easier, you can get like a tube that would fit over that tube and drain it into a, a, a container, another bucket, whatever. Right here we're just going to kind of aim at it and see how it goes. And you know how it goes with us, it'll probably get all over the place. So here we're going to drain the oil. We're going to loosen the oil cap first. That way it lets uh, air in there and it'll drain out a lot quicker. So here we go. Good 
Here comes the oil. So we can see the oil's coming out there and down here. So we'll let that drain. And you can and all you have to do is just turn this till it opens and the oil starts coming out. Okay, while we're waiting for the oil to drain out so we can put new oil in it, let's go ahead and take a look at the air cleaner. Since this unit's pretty new, it's probably pretty clean, but I'll show you how to get it out. It's pretty easy. All you do is there's three clips. Undo those clips. Pull the cover out. Pull the filter out. And like I said, because this is a new unit, it's it's really clean. I don't think the thing's got a hundred hours on it, if that much. Uh, they didn't really use it that much. So we're going to ahead and put that back in there. But all you would do is stick it up back in there and put these little tabs up under. It's a little tricky. It's harder putting it back in than it is taking it out. You know. There we go. Pop that down in there. Make sure that seat's good. Put your little tabs back on. Voila, air filter changed. So we didn't change it, looked at it, was clean, so put it back in, but next time we're definitely going to change the oil filter or the air filter and uh, you know get that on that 150 hour change. She's still draining so we'll sit here and watch her till she gets done. Now that we've shut off the oil drain because it's drained all the way out we want to make sure we wipe it off real good because we really don't want any dirt anywhere. That's just me. Clean around the oil filter. Now let's take the oil filter out. Now to make this easy, you need one of these, which is a little oil filter and it, it adjusts. And what we do is we put it on our ratchet and all we gotta do is stick it up here and get it on here. You got to get your thumb out of the way because when it closes, it grabs your thumb. <laughs> also, be real careful up here around it. This metal shielding that they have here, very sharp. Even if you got gloves on, it'll it'll cut right through that rubber glove. Okay. Now we want to keep. Let's move this oil out of the way, but we'll keep the pan here because it will drip a little bit, and we'll get up here and. Spin it a couple times till we got it loose. Take that off. There is like a uh, flange around here, rubber flange that holds that on. So now we want to take the old one out by spinning it. You're going to spill some. Don't worry about that. In fact, let's sit it down in here. That way we get all the oil down where we want it. Okay. Now again, we want to wipe that out. Look up in there. Make sure we got that all nice and clean so the new oil filter will. Okay, flange is nice and clean. Okay, the next step is we're going to put some oil in the oil filter and then we'll spin it back up there. Okay, we've got the uh, old oil filter out. And now we're going to put the new one in. Now, you know, I don't know how you guys do it, but uh, I was always taught to put uh, some oil in the oil filter. Just fill it up one time. It's going to soak down in there a little bit, but that way you won't have 30 or 40 seconds of no oil pressure. Uh, it should f be only a couple seconds, and it won't hurt it. And that way it fills this. doesn't have to fill this up to get your oil pressure up. It'll, it's already 
pretty much full. So we'll go ahead and do that right now, and then we'll get down there and spin it on. And it just goes hand tight like all filters. So all we got to do now is find the oil. Okay, we got some oil. And it's supposed it takes two quarts with the oil filter, so we should have uh, plenty of oil. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna fill the oil filter up with some oil. There we go. That's enough. And while we're at it, and we have a little spilled oil here, we'll put that on the rubber O-ring all the way around here. That way that lubes that up. Put that back. Now the oil filter is ready to go back on. Okay, we've got the oil filter full of, full of oil. And we're going to stick that back on. Like I said, it's hand tight. Now you have to push it up through that little rubber gasket there. Spin it till you get it. Make sure you don't cross thread this. You cross thread this, you're going to be in a whirl of hurt. Just take it nice and easy. Spin it on there. It's hand tight, but what I like to do is have a nice, is have a rag that's not real oily. Wipe it off real good. And make sure you get it on tight. It's supposed to be just hand tight. And that's hand tight now. So we still have a little oil dripping out of here. And we'll kind of watch that. That's going to drip for a little bit. No big deal. Wipe everything off. And just kind of keep looking around and make sure everything's nice and clean. Nothing's broke. And we're ready to put the oil back in it. So here we go. Okay, we'll close her up. So we can put some oil in it and it doesn't drain right back out. Nice and tight. Went and got a bigger uh, thing because that way it gets right up in there. And can you see that? Let me adjust this a little bit. Yeah. We'll pour the oil right down in there. Now we'll start with that port we already got. We got the new oil filter on, it's tight. The drain is closed down, and here we go putting it with it. Now on the type of oil using, it tells you on this chart over here, the temperatures and what weight you should use. We're in the 10 to 100 degrees, so we're going to use we're using the 15 W40. Like I said, this is kind of a temporary thing. I use Amsoil in everything I've got, so we'll be. Uh, I have to get online and order it, and. Get that in here with a, a Amsoil oil filter. Be much better. That's one quart. Now I'm only going to put the other half quart in, right, another, like a little over a half a quart, and then we'll check it, and more likely it'll be full. So we'll have to start the generator and let it run for a couple minutes get the oil situated back down in the filter and everything and then we'll check it again probably add some to it let's see okay it's down to it's about three quarters of a quart we put in there Let's check it, see if it's full. If it is, we'll go ahead and start it. And let the oil circulate a little bit and then check it again. It's 
stick this all the way down in there and screw it in. The, another, this is plastic, make sure you've got it in right and that you don't cross thread it. It should go in very easily. Okay, we got it in. Let it sit for a second, pull it back out. And it pretty much says full. It's like right there, right near the edge. So that's full enough. What we're going to do is run a little bit, then check it again. I don't know if you can see it, but there it is. It's, it's right up to the full mark. And we're ready to go. Stick that back in there and... We know we got oil in it. We've checked the air filter. We put a new oil filter on it. We filled that oil filter up with oil, although it's not, you know, it was up, but it soaks down in. So we know there's a little bit of a gap in there, but not much. So now we're going to go ahead and it hasn't, we haven't started it for a while. So prime it first and then start it up. Prime it first. Now start it. Okay, now we shut it off, we're going to check the oil again and, and uh, see what the level is. We'll probably have to add some more. Very tricky, make sure you don't mess it up. Okay, now that it's, we've changed it, it went from about here and it's down to here, so we got a little bit more to add to it, so we'll add uh, most of the rest of it, but not all of it, and we'll check it, see how it goes from there. We don't want too much in here, so we put about three quarters of what we had left, and we'll let that roll down in there and check it again. It sh we shouldn't need this little bit that's left. right to the full mark. Okay, everything's nice and full. Generator started up great. Air cleaner's good to go. Oil filter's good, no leaks down there. We checked the oil, everything's checked, looking good. And that's how you do a, an oil and filter change on a 5500 Cummins generator. Easy peasy, it was no problem at all. Didn't make too big of a mess. Of course, you got oil, you're gonna have a mess. So now we'll dispose of this oil in the proper place which we have an oil dolly out here where we can dump oil in it and then take it in town. So thanks for watching, guys. This was Down the Road We Go in the Shop episode, and there'll be more of these coming up because uh, we're going to be doing a lot of mods on the, the, the uh, motorhome, and we'll show you what we've done. Uh, we may show how we did it. It depends on if it's a quick one. We probably won't do that, but we'll get back to you. So take care. Thanks for watching Down the Road We Go. Give us a uh, check in the subscribe button and also make sure you check that bell so you let that way we let you know, or YouTube does, every time we put up a new video. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching Down the Road We Go. If you're new to our channel or you just want to make sure you see all our videos, 
make sure you click the little subscribe button on our logo and make sure also you ring the little bell and that way YouTube will notify you whenever we put up a new video. So thanks for coming along for the ride as down the road we go.